Sales, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I. I am her. And over here in Nista's Nation, we do mainly things fragrances, whether it is body or home. And today we are here to do candle empties for the month of August. So you guys, you know that I had changed my candle empties and I started doing it twice a month because the videos were getting really long. However, August is like the hottest month in the place where I live. And this is all I have for this month. When the 15th, around the 15th, um, I only had, which one was it? I think it was this one because I still only had two. I only had this firecracker pop in my little brown candle bucket. This is what I put my empties in. I only had this and maybe about two wallflower plugs so i was like that's just not enough to come on a video and talk about especially if it's something that we already know about and that is you know the firecracker pop so i didn't even bother with it so i just decided to do one and here i am um today is the 30th i know i will not make it through another candle between today and tomorrow because i have not even been burning anything in my bedroom i think i may have burned one of these candles in my bedroom maybe two but um i'm not burning anything currently in the bedroom and i do like to keep something going in the vanity bathroom as well as the kitchen so i think i have like a peach or something going on in the kitchen but this it's just been one of those months um you can always um you know, keep your house at a cooler climate or just make sure that the area is ventilated really well. You know, there are times where I do open my doors and let up the windows just to get some of that, um, you know, stuck fragrance out of the house. But um, it's just been so hot. I just have not even been in a mood. It's been so hot until the thought of warmth, whether it's a light whether it is um, fire, I just didn't want any extra added elements in regard that produces heat. So, um, we're going to just get right into the video. Alright, so we'll start off with the Firecracker Pop. You know, this is Firecracker Pop by um, Bath & Body Works. This is a single wick candle. This is a cherry fun candle. Um, this candle started off on the warmer, you guys, and I may need to do a little video on that warmer because the warmer that I got during Amazon Prime Days, oh my God, that warmer rocks. Now, Old Faithful back there from Hobby Lobby, she's good too, but this new candle warmer that I have, it is so good. Um, shout out to Sneaker of the Diva because she kept, she keeps, she always say, put your single wicks on your um warmer put your single wicks on your warmer and i just think that um that was the best thing i could have ever learned putting my single wicks on the warmer and it throws fantastically i keep that particular warmer downstairs in my living room space um and i just like it because you don't have to worry about you know anything catching a fire you know i still have to watch the little boy because he will you know he's just curious he'll pick at stuff so you just have to, um, you know, watch small kids and make sure you don't have any animals in the house that will knock it over and possibly get um, burned by the hot wax. But this right here, I could smell this coming up the staircase from um, having it on the lamp warmer. So um, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I think that was the best time I had ever enjoyed firecracker pop i like it but it was something about it last year it just wasn't a really you know it didn't throw the way that i wanted it to throw but this single wick this year on a candle warmer is everything all right so let's just get into the next single wick i did not put this on the warmer this was a bathroom pick this is the sunlit mountain so i don't have the fragrance notes of course and I can't even smell this anymore. But this was, um, I think, a part of the Nature Collection. And it was a really nice candle. 
I do plan on getting more. It was the perfect type of candle that you can put in a vanity bathroom area or just like in a quiet space. You know, there are times where I like to burn candles here. Um, you know, if I'm doing some work on my desktop or whatever. And um, this would be a really nice candle for that. It's not overly woody and it does have a little sweetness to it. So I really enjoyed this. This is currently, you know, a candle that's in rotation. Now, this is the Sunlit Mountain. All right, the next one. This is the Blueberry Maple Pancakes. The fragrance notes in Blueberry Maple Pancakes are Wow on Blueberries. Griddle Farm Pancakes, Warm Maple Syrup with Natural Essential Oil. Bottom line, I need more. This candle was everything plus some. I think that I prefer this candle over my beloved Blueberry Sugar. And y'all know how I feel about the Blueberry Sugar. I think the reason that I like this one more, although the blueberry note in here, it is not like an authentic blueberry. It's more like a candy blueberry as it is with the blueberry sugar. But that gourmand note, that maple note with that cakey note, this is everything. And this is one of those candles that you can burn in your kitchen area. When um, I burn my candles, I burn, I try not to put them on the counter. I do put them on, um, I have a ceramic top stove. And I just take my, you know, stick it in my candle holder and I sit it, sit it there on the stove during times I'm not cooking or anything, you know, that's consumable isn't on the stove. So um, this candle, it flows all the way into my eating kitchen space. You can actually smell it as you're coming down the staircase, but you definitely get the blueberry, that syrup. I can smell blueberry pancakes. That's what it is. This is so good. I burned it till I couldn't burn it anymore. The burn performance was excellent. There were no high flames. <clears throat> there were no sooting. Excuse me. There, well, it was a little sooting. You can see it in there. But nothing major. And very nice candle. Very nice. I do plan on getting more. Alright, the next one um, is the Relax. This is the Black Chamomile. And the fragrance notes in the black chamomile are black chamomile. That's what's in here. So you can't go wrong with this. This is probably one of the first few candles that I started noticing that I was collecting. Well, not collecting, but I was buying multiples of. I think back in 2018 or 2019, right during the pandemic time when you had to order just about everything offline. I remember ordering. It's still really strong. A whole crate of these so um, you can't go wrong with this very relaxing candle the only thing that I wish that some of Bath and Body Works candles had and buy from the Body Works if you hear me if you would think about um, creating some wood wick candles because I think the fragrance ambiance that some of these candles provide putting a wood wick in it I think that it would just take it to the next level so this is one of my favorite aromatherapy candles. I never um, go wrong with it. There are times where um, during bath, I may have this lit. This is a very relaxing and soothing candle. All right, the next one, this is something that's gonna be going into my um, lights out <laughs> underneath the kitchen sink. This is the Clementine Sherbet. And I purchased this candle for like $4 and some change doing SAS. I'm sure it was a return. The fragrance notes are Ice Clementine Sugar Citrus Sweet Vanilla. It was, it had never been burned. It was a brand new candle. But what I did with this candle, I put it on my warmer. I did light it for just a bit, but it was very, very light. So I'm finding when candles are not giving me the throw that I want them to give, I put it on the warmer. So I took this downstairs, put it on the warmer, and she performed perfectly. So for the most part, the fragrance is very um, subtle. Even just smelling it on coal, I think all the fragrance may be gone out of this wax. I set it there. It was there for a couple of weeks. And I either came nose blind to it or I just couldn't smell it. But 
I think this is a nice um, candle for bad weather and it may still produce some fragrance if I ever have to use it. So this is the Clementine Sherbert. All right, the next one, this is one of my um, Candle Day 2021. This is the Vanilla Swirl Brownie. The fragrance notes in the Vanilla Swirl Brownie are chocolate cookie crumble, vanilla bean ice cream, chocolate drizzle, and natural essential oil. All right, so this candle is a gourmand's lover candle. The performance was really well. It's really pretty burn. Um, I have no complaints on the performance. It is a really nice candle. I love the throw that it provides for me in my kitchen space. It's just that nice, subtle, just good, gooey, chewy, brownie scent that it provides. So this is the Vanilla Swirl Brownie. Now, I don't ever burn like foodie gourmand candles in my bedroom space. I don't know why. I may try that. If you do that, let me know. Or if you have a preference to burn them like in the kitchen area. But um, this is a good candle. Very good kitchen candle. All right, the next candle. This was a bathroom burn. This is the Wow Berry Tea Spritz. So this is a very nice bath, I mean, bedroom candle. It is not overly sweet. Um, although this is a tea candle, it does give me remnants of, it makes me think about a sweet perfume. So the fragrance notes are wild berry tea, sparkling lemon, fresh water, muddled berries with natural essential oils. I need more of these. This is a really nice candle. Now Kimball had brought um, to my attention that this was um, in the same family as the pomegranate lemonade. And I totally agree with her. Pomegranate Lemonade may be a little more tartier and stronger because it probably has a higher lemonade content in it, but they could definitely be sisters. This is really good. I really enjoyed this in the kitchen, and this is one of those candles I think that would be befitting for any area of your house. So if you are in the market to look for candles and you are not excessive like I, could, I am with all these different types and different, you know, um, fragrance families or fragrance, you know, just, yeah, like fragrance families, florals, you know, summer, gourmands, you get what I'm saying. If you just want something that is befitting for your entire living space, because some people may not live in a, you know, double living space. I wish I lived in a flat, double living space like myself. Um, and you just, you may have a very nice, um, beautiful studio apartment or anything. If you want something that is befitting for any area of the house, I would definitely recommend the Wow Berry Tea Spritzer. And I think this is still in stores now as well. All right, and the last candle, this was um, one of the luxury candles from Aldi's that I picked up earlier this year. This is the White Almond. This candle, when you can smell it, it does put you in the mind of the Jergens lotion. This candle will definitely be going under the sink because it does have wax that's preservable. And we can use it in the event that we have a power outage. But this is just a really nice candle. Um, the first one that I had, I burned it in my bedroom and it was a really nice candle. It did not give off an overbearing throw. It was just perfect for the living room space. But this time... I did burn it some and then I put it on the warmer and it performed really well on the warmer as well. So that's it for the candles. I have a couple of wallflowers that I just want to um, show you. I did the Summer Melody. This is a really nice fragrance. I really enjoyed it. I also used the Mango Pineapple Fresh Balsam. I wish I had gotten more of these. I used the Pink Prosecco Frosting. I used another pink Prosecco frosting, another pink Prosecco frosting, and I made it through a bow ties and bourbon. So that's all I have, you guys. I did not do as much as I normally do. My monthly candle burn is normally double this, but um, I have just not been in candle mood. And if you follow my content, you can see, you know, I have just not been that heavy into candles. And just um, to probably help you understand, 
I'm more of a fall candle girl. I prefer fall. And as far as the fragrance class is gourmand. I'm really into gourmand candles. I can burn those all day. So um, I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.